Well, another form of uh, another subtle form of work salvation is this thought of giving your life to Jesus. Uh, or, you know, they might say committing your life to Jesus or, you know, surrendering your life to Jesus or sacrificing your will to God's will. It comes in many different forms, doesn't it? Giving your life to Jesus, giving your heart to Jesus, committing your heart to Jesus, uh, sacrificing your will to the will of God. And you know what's interesting about this form of work salvation is, it's, it's, it, it's, is that it's the complete op opposite. Of salvation isn't it it's it's the total opposite of what salvation is and let's just look at a couple of verses that show that uh, Matthew uh, 20 verse 27 look what the Bible says here and whosoever will be chief among you let him be your servant even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many see so we don't give our life to Jesus Jesus gave his life for us uh, John 3 16 says you know, I won't turn there for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life see God gave to us we didn't give to God in order to be saved John 6 47 verily verily I say unto you he that believeth on me hath everlasting life I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven. Jesus talking about himself. That a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. So you see there, are we giving our life to Jesus? No, Jesus says, I'm going to give my flesh. I'm going to give in order to, for you to have life. Uh, let's look at um, you know, John 5. Oops. Sorry, 1 John 5. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. So we have to believe the record in order to have the witness in, our, in ourselves and be saved. And what is the record? This is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his son. So the record is that God has given to us, not that we have given to God. Uh, let's read from Galatians 1 as well. Grace be to you, verse 3, and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. You know, and maybe the re reason why people are so easily sucked into this idea of salvation being a gift, yet we have to give our life, give our life to Christ or commit our life to Jesus, you know, because we live in a day where our idea of gifts may be so twisted because we live in a day where you do have to spend a lot of money these days to receive gifts. If you think about it, if you want to throw a party, you need to spend a lot of money and then people will come and give you a birthday present. Or, you know, a wedding, right? People give you a wedding gift, but really it's paying back what you had to pay to even hold the wedding and to feed them and, to, and to, to give them that special day. So, you know, maybe that's why it's so easy for people to get sucked into that, this idea that, yeah, it's still a gift, even though I have to give everything to Jesus, but it, it makes no sense at all. It's the complete opposite of the gospel. So, you know, doing your part is works. Uh, giving or committing your life to Jesus, sacrificing your will to His is works. Because, you know, when you sacrifice your will, you basically keep doing His will, right? Which is His commandments. That's works. If you have to do that to be saved, it's work salvation. 